Hello there. <clears throat> Got a minute here to save the day again. Let me turn up my mic. Testing, testing. I'm going to be able to talk a little louder. Anyways. Okay. So here we are. So under packages, VRChat SDK, worlds, samples, Udon example scene, prefabs, there is VRC chair. If you grab this, you can drop it into your scene. And it's got all the stuff you need for a uh, chair in VRChat. Okay. So what I do is I'll have something like this. This is the chair I want people to sit in. And I will, um, let me just duplicate this and bring it out to over here. So I've got the chair that I want people to sit in. I pull in the VRC chair prefab. I go into my thing over here, uh, the um, inspector, and I look for mesh renderer. You know what? It's going to be under here. Mesh renderer right here under this Udon thing. Turn it off, and now it's invisible. So you've got the seat, uh, the exit where people, you know, when you walk out of the thing. And if you move this, invisible box over your chair uh, you can then um, have the seated function uh, anywhere you want to right now if someone hovered over this this entire box would be um, highlighted so what I do for my chairs is I'll make a smaller version of this so that where they click is smaller and where they sit is a little bit smaller too And you will have to play around with this because uh, it depends kind of like on different avatars and stuff like where, like if they click on it, where they'll actually sit. I think usually this top plane is where people sit, but I've kind of had to tweak it a little bit and sometimes it doesn't work. So other than that, that's pretty much it. You know, another thing that I would probably do is I would take like this chair. Um, it's actually got all these here. Um, and I would do either, I would probably do this chair as a parent of this so that anytime you want to go move this thing, uh, if it'll move here, uh, where is that? Oh, it transforms over here. Interesting. But anytime, oh, I see. Silly. So that's a duplicate. But anytime then you want to move this chair asset all right let's see let's do it this then your uh your chair prefab uh the vrc chair will move with it so yeah that's about it um so if you have any other questions just let me know but um the other way to do this the more complicated way to do it would be to um, add all these different scripts so once you look at the prefab you can see that it's got this station script that's got these functions, um, box collider, which you might be able to change to a mesh collider, but I would I would caution against that. In my world, um, I've got a seat toggle, so when people click on this, it will turn on all of these chair objects. Um, the these are actually the hidden VRC chair objects so you can see here that like if the um, if they're off then they won't be in the world although I, I have to slightly tweak that right now because I had to add the chairs again but um, it's a little more performant if the invisible objects are just not rendered in the room even though people don't see them um, I guess it's there and it hurts performance so anyways that's about it I'll talk to you later